thank you for being here today to all of our customers, prospects, partners, analysts, shareholders, Bitcoin lovers. Uh, really appreciate you taking the time to be at MicroStrategy World in person. And those who are live streaming, thank you too. So let me get started and talk about letting the data lifeblood flow. If you're wondering, what the heck does that mean? In 1999, sorry, 1998, our executive chairman and founder, Michael Saylor, said, information is like water. Hi, Mike. It's a utility that when everyone has access, we will level the playing field, bringing intelligence everywhere. It should flow and stream freely, friction-free, filling in the gaps of missing wisdom. More than 25 years later, we're still building on this vision. In many organizations, none of you, of course, but many organizations are still struggling with it. I like to think about things a little differently. To me, data is like blood. Blood delivers valuable nutrients, oxygen, amino acids, glucose to your body. And data delivers essential financial, operational, and customer wisdom to your organization. Your heart is the engine that fuels your body. And your heartbeat creates the rhythm with which your body synchronizes and moves. You in this room, data architects, analysts, developers, executives, you're the heart producing that heartbeat. You're the engine that makes sure that data is delivered throughout your organization efficiently where and when people need it. And your end users and your employees, of course, they're the organs that allow the organization to function and engage the world around you. Your eyes, your ears, your nose, your mouth, your skin, your hands, your body. In an efficient system, the blood, the heart, and the body work together perfectly. Six quarts of blood circulate throughout your body every 20 seconds. That's 12,000 miles that your blood travels every single day. In perfect rhythm, your heartbeat is the metronome, or conductor of a perfect symphony, much like the drum beats of the drummers that you heard today in unison. And when data flows in your organization the way it should, the warehouses and applications pump, insights are delivered where they're needed, and your frontline employees are empowered to delight customers, close deals, take the right action every single time. But it doesn't always work this way, does it? Sometimes arteries get clogged, your heart wears down, I'm getting older, I sort of know what this means, your organs weaken. And likewise, sometimes an ETL job fails at 3.30 in the morning, your VPN malfunctions, data goes missing, your frontline employees don't get the information they need, and your business slows down. Worse yet, your body might get toxins and viruses. Your organization gets the wrong data. You get too much information delivered at the wrong time. So what they hear is not a steady 60 beats per minute. In my case, it's like 52 beats per minute. I'm pretty proud of that. Or a symphony of information clearly telling them what to do they get a cacophony of data, noise, and too many apps. And so your employees fall into what we call a big data stupor. The big data stupor means your people aren't 
doing what you hire them to do. They don't have time to create a great customer experience, mentor a newcomer, or solve a sticky problem so customers don't learn, upsells don't happen, and good people leave, which means that opportunities get missed and growth slows and stalls. But that's not it. It gets worse. We, the folks in this room, we overcompensate. Sometimes we diet, we ingest some pills, perform surgery. What does that mean in an organization? We all actually start working harder and harder. We implement digital transformation projects. And we spend years and years and millions and millions of dollars building new data warehouses, implementing new business intelligence systems, building more dashboards, and implementing self-service BI. And what do we do? We count success as the number of people using ungoverned, distributed dashboards daily in the spirit of self-service. This results in what we call application sprawl. Right, a Gartner survey found last year that the average desk employee typically uses 11 applications to complete their jobs every single day. I know you're thinking to yourselves, I use a lot more than 11 applications to my job every day. This is what we're calling application sprawl. As a result, 47%, literally one in two workers, say they struggle to find the information they need to do, do their jobs. So you take those 11 applications and you add in spreadsheets, you add in slides, dashboards, visualizations, how many people have more than 11 tabs open on their Chrome browser? More than 20, more than 30, I've seen it. And people don't, aren't now able to do their jobs. And so the big data stupor snowballs. Your employees are inundated with information, but not wisdom. They get frustrated with how much time they spend looking down at their laptops, staring at spreadsheets, dashboards, applications, not doing what you hired them to do and what they're good at. You hired these folks to help customers, to come up with creative ideas, to close deals, and instead, they're staring at information. And worse yet, some of your people find the big data stupor so intolerable, they just reject it. The noise of desktop apps and dashboards, so 2010s, so they ignore them. They just don't look at them anymore. That doesn't make their business decisions better. Sure, they might get more time to act now. They're moving faster, but they're making mistakes because they're making decisions without the information and the wisdom they need to do what's right. If you're running a business, it's pretty hard to snap out of the big data stupor. You don't want your people to fly blind with less data but you don't want to suck them into more unpredictable screen time either. So whatever you do, it's also important that the information your employees are seeing are trustworthy, credible, current, compliant. And so supporting your company's needs for governance is challenging enough. The flurry of screen cramming point solutions makes it even harder. But without it, you're threatening the health of your business, and just as bad, the well-being of your people. So what do you do? You know, of course we came with a solution. What do you do to stop the big data stupor? You focus on delivering value to your frontline employees faster and easier. This is what we're focused on with MicroStrategy One. Last year, we told you how we're integrating AI into our platform. And that's exactly what we've done with MicroStrategy One. Our platform uses AI to deliver just the right answers or guidance to your people at the moment they need it to take action. Your frontline workers get relevant instant suggestions and predictions with an ability to also ask why. So now, 
instead of a multi-year digital transformation project to integrate information between dozens of applications, you can substitute a multi-month AI project with MicroStrategy to deliver value faster to your organization. So imagine data available to your employees like streaming videos through Netflix and Hulu. Imagine it can learn about the operations of an individual store or the needs of an individual employee so the information it pushes to each person is both relevant and personalized. Employees get to interact with the data in a human way, asking questions and getting guidance. This is intelligence everywhere, and it can be tailored to any industry, any type of job, any kind of device, be a tablet, mobile phone, or another emerging gadget. This is intelligence that has enterprise governance at its core using MicroStrategy semantic layer, built in to make sure the information is delivered trustworthy and compliant. It offers useful guidance and lets users take action immediately in the way people expect today. And it continues to learn and improve, anticipate what frontline workers need to know, and can even take actions on their behalf automatically. It's pretty cool. And so MicroStrategy One can defeat the big data stupor, sweeps away the clutter of dashboards and apps that suck up the time and energy of your people. You restore order to your workflows, blood flows, the heart pumps again, organs work, all beating to a consistent, predictable, and high-performing drumming rhythm. People work smarter, spend less time looking at screens, and have more time to look up and be human and creative again, which in turn improves your customer experience, helps the company capture new opportunities for growth, and makes your people happier. Many of you today are already on this journey with MicroStrategy One. And for you, thank you. You're empowering a store manager to know certain items are run out and automatically place those orders. You're giving a salesperson all the information they need in the morning before they show up at a prospect meeting. At the right time, help them close the deal. You're using AI to collect and present to a customer service agent relevant information before they pick up the phone. Dozens of companies like Wawa, Pfizer, the Warehouse Group, Bank of America are here sharing their stories and successes over the next three days. Everything you're, they're doing, you can do too. And I encourage you to go listen to these customer sessions and understand how they're defeating the big data stupor.